Right, everyone, Forza Motorsport is almost here. In fact, the review codes are already in the wild. The embargo is going to lift on the 4th of October. And why am I telling you that in this video? Well, I want to help you avoid getting deceived by some of these absolutely terrible Forza reviews because some of the reviews are going to be good. Some of them are going to be shambolic. And I'm going to let you know right now what to look out for so you can make sure you're getting the best information about Forza Motorsport if you're looking to buy or download the game. And by the way, one of these secret things to look out for was something that Sony and Polyphony didn't include in the review code for Gran Turismo 7 and it massively affected the game. The first thing is, when it comes to physics and handling, please have a look whether the reviewer is using a load of assist. Some reviewers are going to be using like steering assist and braking assist. And frankly, it's not really worth listening to them when it comes to the handling of physics of the game. They're unlikely to be getting that true experience. So have a look at someone who's going to be using minimal assist because they'll be able to give you that deeper insight. If you see reviewers using a wheel as well, they're also likely to be experienced, more experienced sim racers who can give you that insight. Someone like Super GT is someone who's been you know, absolutely excellent at Forza in the past, knows Gran Turismo as well. Now on that Forza Gran Turismo comparison, please, some of the reviewers that you will see reviewing this game are going to be basically purely Xbox marketers. <laughs> dressed as independent influencers who have been given codes because it's cheaper than doing paid marketing. So have a look, some of them are going to be almost bound to say that Forza is just better than Gran Turismo in every way. They're not going to be honest about it. That is their whole ethos. That's the reason they live is to praise Xbox over PlayStation. So try and have a look at reviewers who are a bit impartial, who maybe have done Forza and Gran Turismo on their channel. By the way, I'm going to be reviewing this game on the 5th of October. I'm, I've bought the game uh, independently, so I'm not sponsored by Microsoft, same way I did, I did it for Gran Turismo 7. So I'll be giving you my honest opinion, but there will be other honest influence out there, but there'll be a load of people out there just to basically praise Forza and get more sales for Forza, so watch out for that. The other thing I want you to look out for is platform. Forza have been really reluctant to show any PC footage of the game or give out PC codes. So it's going to be very interesting to see whether the reviews, uh, any of them are on PC. That is when the game should look its best. So maybe there's something funky going on there. The frame rate limiting to 60 FPS. We understand it is controversial, although the crew manifested the same thing. Also, bear in mind, if you're going to be playing Forza on a Xbox Series S, have a look if the reviewer discloses what platform they're playing on, because the X is going to look quite a lot better than the S. Uh, the, there actually wasn't so much footage of people playing the uh, previous build on the Series S. So I'm quite excited to see that. I will be playing the game on Series S. So that's going to be interesting as well. One more thing I want to let you know about is the car RPG system. So heavily criticized. We need to see, look, how long does it take you to upgrade these cars? Is it an enjoyable experience? Is it very grindy? Are there any microtransactions to shortcut it? A really controversial thing about Gran Turismo 7 previews. And if you look at my preview video I did with the slap train, it was... You know, I, w I was wary about it, but it happened, is Gran Turismo basically didn't add microtransactions into the review build, but they added them in after. And that is, let's face it, sneaky, because we didn't really appreciate from any of the reviews how difficult it was to get credits. So just bear in mind, are we going to see anyone, any reviewers talk about microtransactions and whether you're encouraged to pay, you know, to uh, speed up the progress of unlocking the cars? That's going to be an absolutely critical bit, because I imagine a lot of people are going to gloss over it have a look as well whether we see any online racing at all or whether that's going to be locked off if i remember for gran turismo 7 they didn't release the uh, online racing in the review build and then there were a lot of problems when online racing came out in fact as i speak gran turismo 7 online basically doesn't work which is a bit embarrassing so please have a look at that in forza is anyone gonna really explain that in the review code if we do see online racing that's going to be amazing have a look at the frame rate do we get the iconic Xbox party voice chat experience as well? I can't wait to see that. By the way, let me know in the comments here any other things you want to look out for in the Xbox review codes. This is an honest forum here. I can't wait to review the game as well. I've got the best hopes for it. But I'm just going to let you know, honestly, I've also got a video coming out on how you can get a Forza Motorsport for super cheap. So keep an eye out for that and I will see you. I'll see you next time.